This is Infernape. It's appearing in 7 star raids right now and I have two builds you can use to destroy it all by yourself. So the first build is Komo'o. Get yours to level 100 with a fighting terror type and holding a shell bell. For its stats, give it max HP, max defense, with the rest in special defense. Make sure it has an impish nature, its ability should be bulletproof, and for its moveset, give it body press, taunt, breaking swipe, and iron defense. Just a note on this raid, if you want to make it easy for yourself, have Gardevoir and one Intimidator such as Tauros or Arcanine in with you. Intimidate to lower Infernape's attack stat and Gardevoir will use Life Dew to heal you throughout the raid. So reset the raid until you have them in with you for the best results. Also if you get burned by Infernape at any point, just use a heal cheer. Once you find the raid den, jump in and your first turn use Breaking Swipe. This will do some damage as well as reducing Infernape's attack. For your second turn, use Breaking Swipe again for the third turn, use Taunt. This will stop Infernape from boosting its attacking power later. At this point, Infernape will nullify stats and abilities on your side of the field. Now it's time to use Iron Defense. After two Iron Defenses, Infernape will put the shield up and clear negative stats on its side of the field. It will then attempt to use Nasty Plot, but as you've taunted before, this won't work. Next, use your third Iron Defense. You'll now have maxed out your defense and you're ready to start doing some damage. Keep using Body Press until your Terra Orb is charged. Once it's charged, Terrastalize and keep using Body Press. You'll now be doing massive damage and only need to keep using Body Press from here on out to pick up the KO. Note that once you break the shield, Infernape will use Sword Stance and Focus Energy. You won't need to worry about this though, just keep pressing Body Press until you win. It's that easy. Before we move on to the next build, if you're enjoying the guide so far, please consider liking and subscribing. It would be lovely to have you around the channel. The next build is Annihilate. Get yours to level 100 with a Fighting Terror type and holding a Scope Lens. For its stats, give it max HP, max attack and the rest in special defense. Make sure it has an adamant nature, its ability should be defiant and for its moveset, give it Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Focus Energy and Taunt. Once you're in the raid, turn 1, use Focus Energy. This will boost your critical hit ratio. Next, use Bulk Up. This will raise your attack and defense one stage. After this, use Bulk Up again, or use Drain Punch to get some HP back if needed. It just depends on what situation you're in at the time. For your next turn, use Taunt. This will again ensure that Infernape does not boost its special attack shortly. Now, if you're super unlucky like me, you'll get knocked out by a critical hit. But fear not, the raid can still be won. Once you're back in, set up Focus Energy again. After this, set up two Bulk Ups for a plus two in defense and attack. Next, use Drain Punch to help recover some HP and do some damage. At this point, you'll be looking to get the Terra Orb charged. Use Drain Punch twice more to fully charge the Terra Orb. Then on the next turn, Terrastalize and use Drain Punch. Now get yourself to max attack and max defense by using Bulk Up. You only need to use four more and Drain Punch in between if your health is getting low. Once you're at plus six in attack and defense, use Drain Punch to claim the win. With a little setup, this is a nice and easy way to beat the raid. The final build is Iron Hands. Get yours to level 100 with the Fighting Terror type and holding the Scope Lens. For its stats, give it max HP, max special defense, and the rest in attack. Make sure it has an adamant nature and its ability should be Quirk Drive. And for its moveset, give it Drain Punch, Belly Drum, Iron Defense, and Focus Energy. Once you start the raid, Use Iron Defense as your first turn. Next, use Focus Energy to boost your critical hit ratio. Now wait until Infernape nullifies the stat changes on your side of the field. Once that happens, use Belly Drum to maximize your attack stat. From there, use Drain Punch. This will do significant damage and recover all your HP. Negative stat changes will be cleared on Infernape's side of the field and the shield will go up. Use two more Drain Punches until your Terra Orb is fully charged, then Terrastalize to a Fighting type. Infernape will be attacking with a nasty plot boost, but it won't be doing enough damage. A few more drain punches from there should finish it off. This build is really, really good. Overall, I'd recommend Como first, then Iron Hands, and then Annihilate in that order if you were to make any of these builds. 
Remember that this raid drops multiple Herba Mystica, if you're lucky, as well as other rare items. So put your switch date settings forward one day to get another raid to reappear instantly. If you have any other raid builds that work for you, let me know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out this video here for my thoughts on Legend ZA.